You love to use essential oils in I your practice to in your practice too. I love so, them. which essential oil would you think would oh. be great for uh, detoxify uh, and cope with the toxin level that we have in our home? Well, number one is endocrine. We did talk about that actually in our last video. Um, but zendocrine, again, really helps the body to detoxify and mm -hmm. it supports the detox, um, the detox organs. So it's a blend of essential oil. It's actually great quality. I use it myself. I love it. And I think this is the, 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 the well, this is the only company I, I, I really use and uh, for my own personal uh, use, I've, you know, I've used so many essential oils before and, the, and, and this company, I trust them because the, they're just great quality and they are so transparent they they actually test all their oils also i i believe in yeah the... so talk about that a little bit don about the these particular oils that we're talking about from doTERRA that they are tested maybe you want to hold that paper yeah, up for toxins they, the thing is how do you trust a company nowadays i know companies are trustworthy or not and how do you know like as a customer that you're buying a good quality product so you're always of course, you want to save, but you also buy. The, you want to buy the best quality if you're wanting to improve your health. And that was my main concern. That was also my experience when I used essential oil in the in the past before I started using DoTerra. Is that uh, well, they smelled good and they're okay, but I've never had the pull to to really use them until I started using uh, uh, these uh, gift of the earth, really. And and but I felt they were they were so clean. Even the vibes of the oils was so exactly. clean. Exactly. But I know they do test all of the oil, like 100% of the oils, and they actually give everybody the results of their testing. And I, um, I, I, you know, the, uh, the what's great is the they ha they also use a third party tester to uh, to uh, to test them. But so, can I hold this up so people can actually see? Like yeah, I don't know if I hold this yeah. up here that people so can I, actually see what they're with, testing uh, for. It's a big deal what they're testing. Look at all the look at all the the toxins and the the things they're testing they're for. They're tested here. for fifty four I think different elements: heavy metals, water, pesticides, yeah, uh, water soluble vitamins. I mean, adulteration, uh, adulteration is a big one. And this I I do want you to mention too. Yeah, because you know um, now the uh, the demand in essential oil in the world is actually way greater than the the offering, and uh, what happened is that there's a big uh, there's a big uh, pull for adulteration to create even more essential oils. But what they do is they use a base of essential oils and then they they add linalool, linalil, and acetate, and which makes the essential oils actually toxic. They'll even add perfumes. Like to essential oil. To essential oils. So things that we're trying to avoid, things that we're trying exactly. to keep clean. Exactly. You're going to your health to food this. store and you you want to buy an essential oil because you think, you know, you want to avoid having more toxins in your home and you don't even know what's in your and essential oils. And now you're oils. diffusing something that's putting more exactly. toxins in the home. So this is why I love doTERRA so much because, you know, you're putting less drops, but when you use them, they're pure and they're great and they feel good and you, you, you actually feel safe using them with your kids, with your family. Well, as endocrine, I mean, with doTERRA, you also know that it's so clean. This you take internally. This is an yes. oil that you take internally to it's support a, your detox choice. system. Like so. which company tells on their label, which, which essential oil company tells on their labels you can use them internally? Exactly. I don't know yeah, any. None. None. Zero. And it just So just to give you an idea of how quality it is, is if you feel safe, it's good enough, you can take it in, in, in your own body, you see. So uh, I think it tells everything. And talk about the Aromatic Plant Research Center because this is a third party that tests all these oils to and make sure that they're clean. Yeah, because essential oils are like such a, uh, a complex chemistry that no, not everybody is a, has the knowledge and the scientific background to to, to understand what what is pure or not. So what doTERRA does is on top of their own scientific team, what they do is they hire this third-party tester, which the greatest scientific in the world, they, they test every oil, and they give you an actually uh, complete list of recipes of the molecules and the terpenes and the Sersky terpenes of everything that's included in that oil. And it, it gives you great transparency to exactly know what, when you take an oil, if it's good for you. Exactly. I just want to mention one thing that uh, we were flabbergasted when we were um, watching what the scientists were saying and um, we were watching uh, doTERRA convention when we were learning about oils. And um, out of uh, the bergamot, I want to talk about the bergamot. 
I we, we heard this story um, of this lady in Italy, and she's uh, um, from a distiller, and she's a distiller, and um, and she was mentioning lately that you know Italy produced the best one of the best bergamot uh, of the planet, and the bergamot is such a you know it's a nice flowery, uh, calming essential oil. Which, but by it, the way, is great to diffuse too. I don't have one here, but it's but, great. But but bergamot. Italy produces about 300 metric ton of bergamot a year, and it, and and over a thousand metric to- tons of bergamot is sold from Italy a so year. So do the math. How does that work? So it means we produce 300, we sell a thousand. So already there, you see that there's 700,000, uh, 700. Ton, metric tons of bergamot that's, that's not adulterated. Bergamot. Yeah, it's not bergamot. It, they're stretching their bergamot over exactly. with adding, whatever they're using, adding, adding chemicals. fragrance, add chemicals, add uh, carrier oils, whatever. It's not pure. Exactly. So, so with our company, we're really confident with our, our company. company. Is it your company? Because I love it. I call it my company. Okay, it's like you but own it. The company that we love, the company okay. that we talk about today. Let's go over the other two there, Duncan. Okay, you pass, quick, quick, um, because we got to wrap yeah. up. On guard again, on guard. We talked about it last time. The reason I brought it in today was more for using it for cleaning. On guard. Yeah. I love on guard. Cleaning. You put it, so you, man, you can put it in your hand soap. You can put it in your dish soap. You can put it in a spray bottle cleaner and clean everything mm. with it. It works amazing. It works antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. It's amazing. It smells like Christmas a little bit. It does. It smells amazing. It's got what? Cinnamon, clove, rosemary. It's so far from Christmas, but. You're cutting me. I know. Cinnamon, clove, rosemary, wild orange. What else? Anyway, an excellent mix for keeping everything clean. Hand, Hand sanitizer. Okay. 